hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create a web page design that you can see on my computer screen here in this web page i have created this navigation bar with logo some menu and one menu icon after that you can see this title and button and in the right side you can see two images in this navigation menu you can see beautiful hover effect if i take cursor over any menu link you can see the animated background color we will create this web design using only HTML and CSS. So let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have one index.html file and style.css file. I have another folder called images and in this one you can see some images that I will be using on the website. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now I will open these code file with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Now we will add codes in the body tag and here we will create a div with the class name hero. Next we have to add the CSS for this one. Just copy and write this class name here in this CSS file. Here we will add the width and height. Let's add some padding so we will get some space 20 pixel from top and bottom and 10% from left and right side. After that in this div we will create one navigation bar so here we will add one nav tag and in this nav tag there will be one image so write img tag file path images slash logo we will add the logo here and let's add a class name called logo. Let me duplicate it and here we will change the file name it will be menu.png and the class name menu img within this image we will add some menu link so here we will add ul and li in this li we will add a tag and here we will add the link text it will be home Let's duplicate it and change the text. Recipe, blog and contact. After adding these images and menu link, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. Now you can see this logo, some links and this menu icon. In this CSS file, we will add nav and for this nav tag, we will add the width. It will be 100% display will be flex so that all contents will be side by side align items center and justify content space between after that again write nav and in this nav we have added logo with the logo class name for this logo we will set the width and cursor will be pointer Let's duplicate it and here we will add the another class name which is menu icon. You can see we have added the class name menu img. So we will add menu img. Here we will add the width. It will be 50 pixel. Let's open the web page again. You can see this logo over here and the menu icon on the right side. And here in the center we have the menu links. So we have to design this one. Let's come back and for this menu links we have added ul, li and a. So here in this CSS file we will add nav ul. In this ul we will add flex1 so it will use the entire space available in the row. Text align will be right and we will add some space in the right side. Now you can see these links in the right side let's come back and again write this one then write li so for this list we will add list style none and uh, display will be inline block and some margin after adding this you can see we have some space between all these links let's come back and here within this li we have added a tag so here we will add a so for this anchor tag we will add the text decoration 
none so it will remove the underline color will be black then font weight and position will be relative let's add some padding you can see these menu links looks good next we will add the hover effect on this one so let's come back and here we will add nav ulli before in this before we will add content content will be empty then we will add the width it will be 100 percent and height let's add the height 85 pixel then we will add the background then add position position will be absolute after that we will add the z index z index will be minus one left it will be zero and bottom minus five pixel you can see there is a background color for all the links we will make the corners round at the bottom so let's come back and here we will add border bottom left radius 8 pixel duplicate it and here we will add border bottom right radius you can see the corners are round at the bottom for this background color so right now these colors are visible directly so we have to hide it and it will be visible whenever we will take cursor over it so let's come back and here let's add this one here we will add hover and just add height 85 pixel and from here we will add the height 0 pixel and after that we will add the transition so it will be smooth so we will add transition height 0 0.5 seconds after adding this let's open the web page again now you can see if i take cursor over any menu link there's an animated background color so this menu background animation is working fine next we will add some contents on this website so let's come back and here in this html file after closing off this nav tag we will add one div with the class name row within this row we will create two columns so let's add one div with the class name call duplicate it so we have two columns here now in this second one we will add one image images slash pick one dot png and here we will add a class name feature img after adding this you can see this image over here so we have to fix its size so let's come back and copy this one row write it here in this css file for this row we have to add the display display will be flex and flex wrap wrap then we will add the css for the column here you can see we have added the class name call write it here so for this call we will add flex basis it will be 50 percent and position will be relative now we will add this class name feature img write it here and we will add the width which will be 100 percent and after that we will add the margin from the top it will be 10 pixel now you can see the perfect size for this feature image after that let's come back and here duplicate this one and here we will change the image it will be pick 2png and we will also change the class name thumbnail img let's copy this class name write it here and we will add this css for this thumbnail image so here we will add the width width will be 280 pixel then we will add the position position will be absolute and bottom it will be at 10 pixel left 0 and border radius border radius will be 8 pixel and we will add some shadow 
so we will add box shadow after adding this again refresh the website and here you can see the second image and we have some small shadow for this image now we will add some contents in the left side so let's come back to the html file and within this first column we will add some space and here we will add one title it will be in h1 tag so this is the title here we will add br to add the line break and after that we will add a button for that we will use the a tag and button text will be order now that's it let's refresh the website again and here you can see this title and this link which is order now now we will add the css for these things so let's come back and come to the css file here we will add dot call and in this call we have added the title in h1 so for this h1 we will add margin from the top then font size and font weight you can see this text here next we will add the css for the button so let's come back and again we will add dot call and a for the anchor tag here we will add text decoration none then some padding then border radius it will be 30 pixel then we will add the background after that we will add the display it will be inline block and color it will be black then font weight margin from the top and after that we will add the shadow so let's copy this one and paste it here we will add the same shadow now let's refresh the website again and here you can see this button looks good we have beautiful shadow for this button so finally we have designed this website header section with beautiful hover effect on the menu i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video